Hello friends, Miss Tubbs here. Thank you so much for watching my very first read aloud video. I am so excited to start this with you. Um, I made a little uh, poster of some sentence starters that we're going to use because we're going to think about the things we're reading. That's what re good readers do. Um, so this one says, I notice. So what do you notice about what we're listening, what you're listening to, what you're seeing? I wonder. And I think blank because. So we're going to uh, be thinking like readers all this week and listening to some awesome stories that I have to share for you. So this one, as I said, is called Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. And right here they have a typewriter. Have you ever seen one of those before? It didn't really have a computer screen, but you put your paper in there and you typed on a keyboard just like on your computer to write a letter or a note or paper for school. All right. Let's check it out. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. And I'm noticing something right now about this picture. I'm noticing a Farmer Brown's face. How does he look right there? He doesn't look very happy, does he? He's got this frowny face and these eyebrows, furrowed eyebrows. I don't think he's too happy about his cows typing. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack. Moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. You need to see this picture to see what he saw. Do you see what he has there? A typed note. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. I wonder what Farmer Brown is going to do. Do you think he's going to give the cows electric blankets? It was bad enough the cows found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. It says, sorry, we're closed. No milk today. That's what going on strike means. No work. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. I wonder what he's going to do now. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike, whoever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. And do you see him right there running away? Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. 
All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cow. Hmm, I wonder what he's gonna do. Farmer Brown decided that this was a good deal. Look at the pictures. Do you see what's on the cows? You notice that? He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Doc to come with the typewriter. Oh, and there's electric blankets over the hens too. <laughs> the next morning, he got a note. Not typewriter, a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. And look right here. See what they're doing? And looks like they might get their diving board. <laughs> All right, friends, what I'd like you to do now is to tell someone about that story. Tell them everything you can remember. And if you've already forgotten it, you can just watch the video again. See if you can tell someone what was happening at the beginning and the middle and the end of that story. All right, thank you so much for watching my video. Bye-bye, friends.